To isolate selection, we have a few things we can do. So first of which, we'll make sure we're in our select tool. We'll make the selection that we would like to isolate. In this case, we'll have these two objects. And what we'll do, we'll invert our selection with control I. So now um, everything else that we would like to hide is selected. And now we can uh, just go to the display flag on one of the objects, click it and then you get to see we have our selection isolated. So to unhide selection, it's a little more tricky. In this case, it's not too bad since we only have two nodes. But here, we can go ahead and make the selection and then just show back our, uh, our hidden objects the same way that we uh, hid them. Now, um, to have a little more control over this, we can do this um, either with, uh, with takes or with bundles. Uh, bundles uh, in the end might be easier, but uh, we'll go ahead the take route. So with the take route, um, we can go up to the top and enable auto takes and just create a new take. Just make a new take here. And essentially a take, this is the uh, pass system. So this allows us to create uh, local overrides uh, per pass. So we can essentially do the same exact thing. So uh, we'll make our selection invert our selection, then hide the elements we want to hide. And uh, essentially, we don't have to worry about unhiding these objects. We can just go back to our original take. And then now everything else is unhidden. And if we want to go back to the previous take, uh, where we had uh, these objects uh, isolated, we can go back down to take two. And we now have that selection, uh, or this isolation essentially stored. Um, uh, so that's the take route that you can go. In addition to that, we can use bundles. So uh, if we go ahead and open up our bundle list in, uh, in any particular pane, we'll just open up our bundle list uh, and create a new bundle. We can add uh, the objects. Essentially, we can do the same thing. So in this case, we'll make our selection and then we'll invert our selection, add these current uh, currently selected objects into the bundle. So we'll go ahead and add these elements to the bundle. So now you get to see they're visible here and we can just toggle off the visibility. And then when we want to uh, bring those objects back, we can go ahead and toggle that back on. So those are a few met methods available to you in order to isolate selection.